All right, everybody, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm uh, Chris Jones, uh, your uh, ginger host, and uh, right now we're making the long, strenuous trek to Bass Pro Shops, Tallahassee, and by that I mean I just exit my neighborhood <laughs> and I'm there. Um, and that was not planned, you know. I actually did not uh, choose the house that I did because of its proximity to Bass Pro Shops. Um, it was just an added bonus. But um, we're going up there to get some chatter baits um, because, folks, let's face it, it's about chatter bait time, and uh, I'm low on chatter baits. And the lake that I want to use them on uh, opens back up to bass fishing um, next week. So we have uh, outboard motor restrictions on a few of our lakes during duck season. So it's it's not that you can't fish them; you just can't use a boat that has an internal combustion motor. And uh, well, on this particular lake, you can't use anything over 10 horsepower. So even if I want to go out there and idle, I can get ticketed. I think it's completely ridiculous to shut down a lake just to cater to one demographic for duck hunters, but that's just me. And uh, I'm not salty at all. But uh, anyway, we're going to pick up some chatterbaits because it's chatterbait time. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, that's kind of just going to start the video like that. And uh, and then we'll move on to, uh, to today's bait demonstration. Uh, well, hopefully a demonstration. I have no idea how they're going to turn out, but that's what makes it fun. So we will catch you back in a few moments. All right, that's it right there. Half ounce green pumpkin uh, chatterbaits. Booyah. Actually, these aren't booyahs. Those are the booyahs. But uh, for my purposes, that's what I like. We're going to go for a crawfish color today, just like that. So this is one of the happiest places in the world, the Bass Pro Shops fish tank. Let's see, look at this hybrid. It's like a, eh, no big deal. It's like a 12, 13 pound hybrid. No biggie. That one up there is a double digit bass. That one back there is a mule. I don't know if you can see through the window real well. There's some mega bluegill. There's even a redfish, two redfish. There's redfish one. And, yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Come on, almost. almost. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, get out of the way, redfish. Holy cow. Folks, we got some big bass in the Tallahassee tank. That's, oh God, he's way more, than, he's definitely more than double digit. Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back. We're in the uh, bait shop and uh, it's time to get started. So, um, as I was saying in, uh, in Bass Pro Shops, <clears throat> I want to go for like a, um, sort of like a, a Rayburn Red, like sort of a, a red and black crawfish color swim bait. So I'm gonna use uh, a new mold. Um, this is a, this is about like a four inch swim bait. Uh, I have, um, so here's, here's what the actual bait looks like. Um, and it's got kind of like a nice smooth side, um, which is kind of a canvas. You know, you can really uh, brush colors on there, you can paint it, and, uh, and I think it looks really good. Um, so that's what we're gonna use today. Uh, we're gonna be using the new Dead On Plastics Jerk Bait uh, Swim Bait Blend. Uh, this is the new black label stuff, black bucket stuff, uh, the non-phthalate <coughs> uh, plastic. And uh, we're going to be using lots of mica powders today, pearls and, and things like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get started and uh, hope it looks decent. Okay, so um, I've got a little over half a cup measured out because I don't need a whole lot to pour this um, <clears throat> to pour this mold. So I'm thinking about what the base color is going to be because I'm going to pour this as one color, one solid color. So this is like a red brick color um, pearl powder it's a mica powder but it's a chameleon powder um, I bought this stuff um, from a supplier that's not part of like the normal um, like this isn't lure works lure craft or MF or anything like that it comes from a, a more independent uh, supplier and uh, and it has like a 
neat um, chameleon effect and, and that's what that's what it's for is to kind of change colors on you a little bit um, especially in different lighting uh, which a lot of pearls kind of do already um, this one just does it more and uh, and I think it's a really cool thing so that's gonna be like the base color and then we're going to basically use other pearl powders to apply the after effects um, we're gonna be doing the same sort of technique that it takes uh, that I made these um, <clears throat> these new coral snake worms with um, we're gonna be basically brushing powders on there you can do this with regular mica powders aluma dust all types of things um, so that's the idea behind it um, sorry guys I'm <clears throat> I'm a little sick so if I'm sniffling a lot or or if I sound like I'm struggling here <laughs> It's just because I've virtually been sick all week. Um, so anyway, we've got that about mixed in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cook that up. We're going to add a little bit of small black to it just for a little bit of texture. And, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and pour <coughs> uh, the actual swim baits themselves. And then we'll uh, go ahead and cook this up. So, um, well, excuse me. We're going to cook that up first. Duh. Told you I was struggling. Oh, here's a good old country song. Oh, here we go. Looking for my blue oh, 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 angel. All right, we're gonna pop that in for about two minutes, and uh, and that should do it just fine. Okay, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has like a silver metallic look, but then it's also kind of like a red brick color. Um, so we're gonna add, let me get over here, we're gonna add a little bit of black flake to it because this is what the tail's gonna look like. Um, so I wanna add um, kind of enough, kind of enough that you know it's there. Um, and this is uh, 0 0.015 black. So that's the small size black flake. Okay, I'm gonna get that mixed in. And there's what we have. So that's going to be what the body of the bait <clears throat> looks like. Okay, so now uh, let me make sure that this is on camera. It's kind of hard to do this on camera, but uh, over a camera. But we'll try. Okay. Normally I'd be a little closer to the mold <laughs> when I'm actually pouring. Okay. All right, that one looks pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at what we have. Trying to get some close-ups here. Okay. Come on, baby. Yeah. Perfect. That's a cool little bait. Take a look at the tail portion. Yeah, I'm liking it. Pretty cool just by itself, huh? All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little off the, well, I'm gonna think outside the box a little bit. Basically gonna take some black pearl powder, all right? And uh, you can literally just use your table. And I'm gonna mix some black pigment with that. And we're gonna go with that and see what we get. Time to get a little messy, but I want to try and do this right okay we are literally just going to now mix this up just going to mix it up just like that okay looking good it's uh it's it's looking it's looking more black it's looking more dark and that's what we wanted we wanted something darker you know what i actually need more pigment messy stuff here folks messy stuff but that's okay. We are trying new things on camera, uh, whether it's good or bad. Um, like I said, I have a little bit of experience doing this very thing right here. Um, so I guess it's not like completely new, but it may as well be in a way, okay? It's new to the channel, how about that? All right, so that's looking much, much, much darker. So, if I uh, take our first candidate here, 
Let's just kind of get some of this on the back. Yeah. Looking much darker. And you want to try to paint a very thin layer. Um, because if it's gooped on there too much, when you go to clear dip it, it will actually kind of run. And, uh, and you don't want that. So, um, here we go, guys. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, so the back's done. Alright, let me see, uh, I'm trying to, I guess I'll have to, um, bring the bait a little closer. Okay. That's the thing, now if you touch it, you get pigment all over your fingers. But that's okay. Alright. We're just gonna paint that. Okay, looking good. Alright. Now we're going to get the red out. Okay. This is where it's going to get tricky because I can't really put the red mixed in with the black. Um, it, at least not very much here. Because that's going to that's going to get, you know, the black pigment all over my uh, red brush here. And I kind of don't want that to happen. Um, so we're going to have to be really careful, but that's okay. Like I said, uh, everybody, we are really doing some weird stuff today, but uh, why not? All right, it's looking okay, looking okay. All right. Now we're going to get the tiny little black brush. We're just going to make some marks here. Yeah, look at that. Looks way better already. Okay. I'm just going to really try to make these very ornamental. Make them look like they belong. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Now. The real test is going to be, can I turn this over <laughs> and lay it flat to do the other side without completely ruining everything that I just did? That's going to be the kicker. And, uh, you know, this is where having those little stands to do this, like the painters do, come in handy. However, I don't have one, and um, yeah, I don't have one. So, we're just going to take our chances. Okay. Let me make sure the camera, trying to get the camera angle right, it's a little tricky today. <clears throat> this is not my uh, normal deal here, so. And uh, what I decided I was going to do is I was going to go ahead and glue some eyes on. So this is Loctite gel. I'm just going to put some in that eye socket. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> you know, that way we'll at least have this side done. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully I won't have to flip it back over. Uh, because, you know, the other side could be, could be a little tricky to do. Um, you know, just when you're dealing with uh, pigments and things like that. So we're just gonna lay that on there like so. All right, looks good. And uh, that stuff dries pretty quickly. Okay, there's our clear dip plastic. So we're gonna dunk it and dunk it right back out. Okay. We're just gonna kinda let it drip on the table. Sometimes uh, if you let it drip back in the cup, if you have some bleed, um, you'll actually bleed the pigment 
or the powder back into your clear dip, and then your clear dip is no longer as clear. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, dunk this in some water, and then we'll uh, meet you back here in just a few minutes. Okay, there's the new version. Um, I almost put a little bit too much black on it, um, but here it is in comparison with the uh, with the other one, and you can just see how not black <laughs> the black uh, pearl is by itself. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and make the rest of them. Um, this video is probably pretty long, so I'll meet you back whenever I have them done, and we'll take a look. So uh, another thing I recommend doing is once you start collecting eyeballs, and I mean, you know, just all these eyes, little eyes, big eyes, soft plastic eyes, hard eyes, um, you know, just get you some containers, uh, some Tupperwares. So this one I keep eyes in, sets of brushes for this kind of stuff. Um, really comes in handy. And, uh, you know, I'm going to wipe all this down. And basically all you need is just a good cleaner. You know, you don't have to really worry about cleaning your work table, you know, as long as this is, you know, uh, some sort of a coated or treated surface, really all this stuff just wipes right away. I mean, you know, it's really not that bad. So um, anyway, we're going to pack all this up and then we're going to take a look at the baits. Okay, so there's what we wound up with. Let me, uh, basically you just trim the tips of your um, uh, golly, uh, clear dip off. And there we have it. <clears throat> You'll see, uh, here's the first one that we did. And I don't even know why they, they even call that black pearl. I mean, <clears throat> even when you stir that in and heat it up, it still comes out to charcoal for my liking. So, uh, but I wanted to just kind of show you the difference. Um, and uh, I mean, even that's a cool bait in and of itself. But, you know, the goal was to make kind of a, a Rayburn Red, you know, kind of like you see in crankbaits and rattle traps and things like that. And uh, I think we, uh, let me uh, pull the camera up a little bit. And I think we did okay. What do you guys think? It's definitely a lot of work. Uh, it was a little messy. Uh, the the next two, I, I kind of got the hang of it a little more, and um, I used less of the of the black pigment. Um, I went a little heavy on the first one. These, you know, I kind of brushed on thinner layers, and uh, and it made a lot less of a mess, and it was a little bit easier in general. Um, but hey, you know, if they're biting that red rattle trap, this is another option. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, something different. Um, you know, it's uh, it's definitely uh, a test in patience, um, and it's not the most quick and easy thing. And, uh, and, and like I said, I, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, show people or tell people that this is the best way to do this. Uh, no, I mean, the, the guys running airbrushes and, uh, and, and using, you know, the real painting supplies, you know, stenciling, things like that, that's the best way to do this. However, if you don't have any of that kind of stuff and don't really want to make the investment and, you know, it, it's just not worth it to buy, all this, to buy all the materials because you don't do it a whole lot, you can still have fun just with a tiny paintbrush, some of the powders that you already have, and some of the pigments that you already have. You know, you just need a bait that kind of allows you to use it as a canvas. And uh, you need a little bit of patience and, uh, you know, you can come up with some cool things. You know, this is just... Um, you know, kind of a, a rough version of, uh, you know, the, the, the Rayburn Red, so to speak, or, or just any kind of red rattle trap. You know, they, they kind of have a pattern similar to this. Um, and, uh, you know, I will definitely be throwing these. But um, anyway, um, something different today. Uh, we'll definitely do some more crazy color ideas. Um, you know, like I said, these are, you know, that's really similar to what I did to, to make the, the coral snake worms. Uh, the first coral snake worms were all injection, uh, if you remember that video. Um, you know, this is just a different way to do it. Um, and, uh, you know, you can have fun either way. So, um, anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. And uh, we will catch you next time on the world's worst fishing.